As controversies over COVID and critical race theory and sexual identity boiled over at school board meetings across the state, Texas State Representative Brian Harrison sent a letter to each of those more than 1,000 school districts identifying what he believes to be one of the problems. The Texas Association of School Boards, the independent agency that says it promotes educational excellence for Texas school children through advocacy, visionary leadership, and high-quality services to school districts. Not the way Harrison says conservative parents see it. Their tax money is being weaponized against them. It's being weaponized against their children. And it's being weaponized against their values by funding an organization that is working to push dangerous, woke ideology. And Carol Ice is the first to respond Monday night, planning to vote to end its membership with TASB, saying it actively promotes through training and conferences divisive political ideologies. Telling WFAA in a written statement, Carol ISD is confident that local control and choice for the services currently rendered by TASB will provide CISD with financial responsibility and community value-aligned services. The Texas Association of School Boards tells WFAA that our hope is that their assessment will result in what we know is true. TASB is a nonpartisan member association that has worked for nearly 75 years to support school boards and strengthen Texas public schools. But the Carroll ISD resolution makes it clear that the agency is viewed as too liberal. And Harrison says Carroll is certainly not alone. And let me tell you, while Carroll is the first to leave TASB, they will not be the last. In Southlake, I'm Kevin Reese.